नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान ओ पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणीन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वासंदा भगवदगीते भवत्वेशिणी ओ भगवदगीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू पार्थ द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडेस shower or of the nectar like knowledge of non dualism contained in your 18 chapters oh my affectionate mother the destroyer of rebirth i meditate upon thee krishna vandana vasudeva sutam devam kansa chanur mardanam devaki paramanandam krishnam vande jagat gurum son of vasudeva the slayer of kansa and chanur extreme delight for mother devaki o lord krishna the supreme teacher of the universe my salutations to you shrimad bhagavad gita the 16th adhyaya daivasura sampad vibhaga yoga and uh, shri krishna has uh, in detail uh, he has elaborated he has discussed he has explained to us the uh, way these uh, people of the demonical tendency people who have these uh, inhuman traits these barbaric traits these brutes for that matter uh, how how they how they behave what are their traits how they think how they behave and what all they do shri krishna has uh, quite quite uh, in details he has explained to this and uh, he said that uh, well these people this good for nothing people who can never attain to any good who can never do any righteous acts who are only into the sense gratification who in, who are just self centered self conceited these people they are so arrogant they are so cruel hmm? and they have no faith at all only thing they know is their own supremacy they don't have any empathy they don't have any compassion they don't have any soft feelings for others anyone who comes in their way of enjoying the sensual pleasures is an enemy for them and they say that i have killed all these enemies earlier again i will kill in future also all those who meddle in my uh, enjoying the sense pleasures so these uh, the, the the absolutely the barbaric kind of uh, uh, people they have no uh, uh, soft feeling no uh, empathy no compassion for any of the other creatures for that matter only they know is how to fulfill their lust and greed and to fulfill that lust they need the resources the financial uh, resources and they keep on holding the money by all unlawful ways by unjust ways <laughs> by all the wrong ways unrighteous ways and then as a result they are so arrogant they are so egotistic their i is so much uh, 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 bloated they fail to understand they fail to recognize the divinity which is there inside them they recognize also to 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 recognize since they can't recognize divinity within they can't recognize divinity without also in all other creatures they for them the creatures are just an uh, a kind of a tool to enjoy the sensual pleasures either to earn money or to gratify the senses that is what they look at the whole creation and they say i am the supreme and they have total disregard for the spiritual concepts they have total disregard for the disrespect for the divinity as such and since they start they have no uh, respect for the divinity they start sort of hating the one who is there inside that the one inside is trying to uh, bring it out to them that baba you are doing wrong and therefore 
since that inner being that power of discernment the viveka is cautioning them they start hating that power inside they start hating the indweller inside who are you to tell me all these things that is the kind of uh, attitude that they start begetting because they don't uh, uh, respect the divinity within divinity without and then shri krishna says that such people such people who are no good uh, uh, doers who are totally uh, evil minded unrighteous they i i i i also treat them in the same manner i also treat them in the same manner and i just hurl them into those demonic worms for all the births to come there is no respite for them and then they keep on rotting there in that phase of uh, being the asuras being the people with the demonic tendencies and then shri krishna had told us that birth after birth asuri yoni mapanna mudha janmani janmani birth after birth they get birth as the deluded demonic tendencies people they they find the place only in the demonic worms these deluded ones this mood birth after birth and then mama prapya eva kaunteya tato yantya tamam gatim that uh, they, they, they they thus fall without even reaching me they cannot reach me at all shri krishna says they cannot reach the paramatman they cannot reach the para brahman because they have no concept of it they have no realization there is something like that in in case they, they try to they, somebody tries to put a, a, a thought of the divine in them that person becomes their enemy they start hitting that person they start hitting the divinity within and shri krishna says that without reaching me mam aprapya eva o kaunteya o arjuna without reaching me tataha yantya dhamam gatim these people these unfortunate souls for that matter these unfortunate beings for that matter they Uh, they they uh, are again born in the condition which is much lower than what they were earlier. So it is nothing but degradation from the lower low to lower to lowest. It is not from high to higher to highest as in case of the people who are divinely oriented, people who are beings who are uh, uh, inclined towards divinity. For them, the evolution is. from high pedestal they go to higher pedestal and then to the highest pedestal of becoming one with the param brahman but here in this case in this case in the case of the asuras it is extremely reverse it is from low they get to lower and from lower they get to the lowest poor fellows from dark to darker and then to the darkest uh, uh, conditions uh, that, that that is what they have to trade the hereafter now suddenly a doubt will come in my never what is the reason what is it that causes people to take birth you know in such kind of uh, uh, demonical conditions with such kind of demonical tendencies with such kind of crooked wretched evil uh, traits what makes it and then is there no way out Shri Krishna says no no it is not this that hopeless a situation although i those who can never uh, uh, realize the divine potential within i keep on hurling them in the demonic worms that is a different matter but they also there is hope it is not absolutely hopeless situation sri krishna says after all the most compassionate lord hmm, the most compassionate being uh, the ultimate being the paramatman the parabrahman how he or she in the form of he in the form of the divine lord she in the form of the divine mother how they can see their children rotting in hell like this so the the, the lord gives a way out lord shows the way out that he, it, this is not the end end, end end of it all there is 
why these people get into such demonic tendencies with such demonic lives with such uh, inhuman kind of barbaric uh, uh, li- uh, lifestyles shri krishna says there is a reason to it and people can avoid getting into that uh, unfortunate most unfortunate state shri krishna says trividham narakasyedam dwaram nashanam atmanah kamah krodah tatha lobah tasmad etatrayam tyajet Sri Krishna says there is a reason why these people like this, people like this, the people with these demonic traits that uh, he has explained in such a great details, not only traits, but their way of living, how they live, how they live in a hypocritic manner. Hmm? Uh, there is a reason for that. And Sri Krishna says that the reason for this is that the three doors for this hell-like situation are. there are three doors by which people enter this hell like situation of becoming brutes of becoming the savages of becoming this kind of demons doing nothing but unrighteous evil and wretched things in lives trividham narakasya idam dwaram idam narakasya trividha dwaram for this hell there are three doors nashanam atmanah which leads to the destruction of the soul the purpose of this jivatman getting off from the parmatman is to go back to the parmatman after having this experience of being in the creation being in the midst of other beings the ultimate objective is to go back to the original place to go back to the original source to go back to that paramdham but in the process sometimes these jivatmans they enter the hell through these three gates and that causes the total destruction for them and then they cannot go back to the origin they have to suffer they have to suffer they have to suffer now which are these three gates shri krishna has explained he says kamah krodha tatha lobha the sensual desires anger and the greed these three basically the lust and greed these two are the primary and if these two are not fulfilled then enters the third gate of krodh if the lust and greed are not fulfilled people succumb to that uh, uh, demon of anger of krodh and once they get into that state of anger they can't think rationally they can't think at all and they can create such a havoc that even even uh, 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 the the they, they they forget who they are they forget what is not to be done they for, forget the path of righteousness and they only know the evil way they only in that state of anger they only know to annihilate the people to slay the Uh, obstructors for that matter to get rid of those people who are coming in between uh, uh, their, their, their uh, sense of desire and the enjoyment of desire so that is how this kama krodha and lobha the lust anger and greed they are the uh, gateways to this hell and shri krishna says tasmat etat trayam tyajet and therefore one must renounce one must abandon any of these three all these three if we abandon sensual desires if we abandon greed if then if we abandon anger if we if we don't have lust and greed there would there is no reason for anger to crop up its head so shri krishna says abandon these three abandon these three of lust anger and greed and you will never enter this hell you will never get into the situation of carrying the demonic traits then it is only the those uh, daivi traits that he had talked about the daivi traits of the shanti and the jnana and the yearning for uh, liberation all those traits that uh, shri krishna had explained for the daivi 
that traits will start proliferating and that will lead to attaining the ultimate goal of becoming one with the Lord. Otherwise, if these three traits are picked up, if we enter this uh, creation, hmm, we enter this creation through these three gates of lust, anger and greed, then Sri Krishna has very well explained to us what is going to be the situation of those unfortunate, barbaric, inhuman and evil souls. So, Sri Krishna clearly mentions here which gates to be avoided while entering this creation. Absolutely clear on that. The lust, anger and greed. Sri Krishna says, avoid these three great gates. Abandon these three gates. And then you enter the creation through the fourth gate. And then everything will be fine. So, triple is this gate of hell which is destructive of the self. And which is the triple gate? The lust, anger and greed. Therefore, one should abandon these three. A very clear message. Such a simple way Sri Krishna has told us how we can get rid of falling into the demonic womb birth after birth after birth. The origin of the demonical disposition is pointed out here in this uh, uh, 21st verse. This is how the origin starts. Entering the creation through these three gates. One or the other and then the third. The lust, the greed and the anger. It is fostered by these three evils. This demonic uh, uh, way of living is encouraged. Is, is, it, it, these are the uh, 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 openings to getting into that demonic state. To getting into that inhuman, barbaric and such a cruel kind of a personality. The nature of greed is appropriate, uh, is to appropriate all objects of sense enjoyment exclusively to oneself. That is the greed. I want to enjoy everything. Nobody can enjoy. Since I want to enjoy everything, I need the wealth. And then I will do anything to amass the wealth. I will do any irrational, immoral, uh, unjust unlawful act, unrighteous act to earn that money, to fulfill that lust. And that is the that is how the greed starts. Any one of these three vices mentioned here is sufficient to bind the man to abomination. Any one of these three, we succumb to any one of these three, we succumb to lust or greed or anger. And we are opening up all the three gates one by one. Just by entering one gate, we are opening all the three gates one by one and getting into that hell of becoming the Asura type of person. Woe unto man when all the three make an alliance and rule his mind. Just imagine when one gate, uh, entering through one of these gates can create such a hell. Hmm? What happens when all the three gates are open for that person to enter? When all the three gates are open, the lust, anger and greed, what kind of most unfortunate situation that being will be landing up into. They do not allow him to emerge from wickedness. And they don't allow at all. They make the person permanently stuck in this unfortunate state, in this uh, the, the state from where there is no comeback then. So therefore Sri Krishna says, right at the beginning, right at the beginning, abandon these three gates, don't even look at them. The lust, anger and greed, don't even look at them and your path will be so smooth, your path will be so delightful and blessed and blissful that you will automatically reach your ultimate goal. So, this is what Sri Krishna says now, that no, there is, it, is, it is not a hopeless situation. Even before entering into that situation of acquiring the demonic traits, beware. Beware of these three culprits. Beware of the lust, beware of the anger, beware of the greed. Just shun them. Sri Ramakrishna used to say that lust and greed, you shun them like excreta. Do we touch excreta? 
we just we just don't even look at it we don't like to even glance at it so shri ramakrishna used to say the lust and greed and anger you shun like excreta don't even look at it and that will lead us on to the path of divinity and we will start acquiring all those divine traits that shri krishna had enlisted for such divine oriented people om namo bhagavate vasudevaya shri krishna arpanamastu jai shri ramakrishna jai thakur jai ma jai swami